Today's video is brought to you by the Motherboards.org Gaming Deal of the Week. This week, get LA Noir for under $5 digitally. Check out the link in the description. After a rather sticky situation unfolded here at motherboards.org, I, Biff Baxter, have come to the discovery that yes, even a Mac can get infected. This week, 600,000 Mac laptops were infected with a flashback Trojan virus. Now, although Mac has this fix and only 270,000 Macs are out there with the virus, it just proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that yes, a Mac can get a virus just like a PC. And for those of you who are just checking into the show, I'm Biff Baxter, and this week we're bringing you motherboards.org in the news. And our second story this week is something on Barnes & Noble. This is their new Nook with Glowlight. This model is nearly identical to the prior model. It features the same 6-inch ink display, same internals, same size. But obviously, the glow light allows users to read in the dark. And this version is actually slightly lighter, coming in at 6.9 ounces compared to the previous version at 7.48 ounces. So for any of you people out there who actually have previously owned a Nook, do you find this to be any type of big information? Let Biff know. We want to know here at motherboards.org. Next up, Intel is claiming that by the year 2013, high resolution monitors on your laptop will be the standard on all high-end models. Systems typically viewed at 16 to 24 inches will supposedly offer a pixel density of around 250 PPI. This will include 11 inch ultrabooks with a resolution of 2560 by 1440 and 13 inch ultrabooks with a 2800 by 1800 screen resolution. Meanwhile, 15 inch notebooks and 21 inch all-in-ones viewed from 24 to 30 inches away will also have a resolution of 3840 by 2160. 4K is here, baby. You guys have seen in some of the unboxings that Elric's done here that 4K is the way of the future. Does this matter to you much? Let us hear that in your opinions as well. And the final story of the day. You guys know that over on motherboards.org, we're building a system called the Black Samurai. And inside that, it has a PCIe boot SSD as the drive. Now Intel is also jumping into this market and will have their own version of this called the 910 hitting the market very soon. And according to Intel, the new 400 gigabyte model can achieve sequential reads of up to 1000 megabytes and sequential writes of up to 700 megabytes with random 4K read and write ratings of 90,000 IOPS and 38,000 IOPS respectively. The 800 gigabyte unit is even more impressive with up to 2,000 megabytes and 1,000 megabyte sequential read and write speeds, as well as 180,000 IOPS and 75,000 IOPS for random 4K reads and writes. This is an amazing product to look out for. So folks, this wraps up this week of motherboards.org in the news. We love to see your comments and we've got lots of more stuff coming here for you on motherboards.org in the coming days. See you back here next week.